It is not clear if the Ghana manganese company can increase its production of manganese ore at Insuta as it proposes. This is because government feels shortchanged in the mining agreement with the company. The Ghana manganese company is currently exporting manganese ore to a sister company in China and plans to increase its production. There was uncertainty about the issue when the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. John Peter Amewu, met with officials of the mining company at Takwa in Suta in the western region. The Ghana manganese company has been mining in the country for many years. In the past five years, the company's production has hovered around 2 million metric tons. In 2017, production increased to 3 million metric tons, with the company projecting to increase output to 7 million metric tons by 2020. The Ghana manganese company's concession covers a total area of 175 square kilometers within Isuta, Yakwao and Idran Banso. Yakwao alone accounts for 149.7 square kilometers. Idran Banso covers 12.3 square kilometers. As at December 2017, the company had about 1 million metric tons of manganese ore in reserve. The expansion project, which is planned to begin this year, is expected to raise production levels to 4.8 million metric tons. Roads in the area are in very bad condition now due to the heavy nature of the machines and equipment used in the haulage of the ore. The company therefore plans to partner the government in a rail and road reconstruction and repair project. We have this plan to construct the road as specified in the presentation, um, the designs have been done. We are looking at um, sources for funding with our Chinese counterparts. I think they are here and we have to teach them the way forward. They are learning. They are on the learning curve. So every piece of advice is going to be taken seriously. No, no, no. Ghana is not a country for good government. That's what I don't want to hear. We, we will teach them. We no, will no, teach no. them. If, yeah. if you are a manager coming to work in a company of this nature, excuse me to say, if you are not qualified to work, we don't have to accept you in. They don't have to come here and use this place as a learning tool. Let's work with international standards. Government has 10% shares in the Ghana Manganese Company's operations. Under the agreement between the two, the mining company needs the consent of government if it is to do business with an affiliate or sister company. According to the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, the company has breached that aspect of the contract and short-changed government. Increasing your production target to suit you without government getting a revenue to match will not be acceptable to us as a country. You must get that very clear. You have a contract document which I have here. And this document talks so much about affiliate transactions. In your presentation, it was clear that your sister company was buying from you. And this sister company is an affiliate company. Possibilities of transfer pricing will exist within this arrangement. What the law says is that if you're going to engage a sister company, you must seek a clearance from the ministry. I have been a minister for one and a half years now. I haven't on any occasions have a letter seeking authorization or clearance for you to undertake such a practice. I am not happy. This is the law. This is the agreement that you have from Ghana government. If previously for all these years this company has been working and you have not abide by this, I am not here to tell you what the contract says you must do. But you must begin to go back to the contract document and look strictly what you have to do. You have to abide by the terms of the agreement. The contract between the two ends in 2026 and government wants the company to have a refinery for adding value to their oil. Otherwise, its license will not be renewed. The Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. John Peter Mewu, cautioned mining firms to be transparent or face the full rigors of the law. The minister was on a tour of the Ghana Manganese Company to familiarize himself with operations of the company. Manganese extraction in Ghana began in 1916.